Welcome back to the channel guys and for all the new subscribers and watchers what's all this about well uh, this is DMOP Garage I'm Nico and we're doing restorations on split screens and combis custom utes you name it all kinds of stuff pretty much normally v-dub related and at the moment we're working on this 55 panel van which is a bush find if you haven't seen when we picked this up out of the bush it was right in the middle of covid when we had the lockdown four and we were able to go up to this farm and pick it up i'll put a link in the description up the top so you can watch the first episode and then there's other episodes along the way that you can watch the progress ones as we go along and this is where we're up to at the moment so if you haven't seen the first couple of episodes, go back and check it out. We also have Miss Purdy here, which is the wife's ute. And I've also got a full restoration uh, film montage photos of when I picked this up and did all the restoration work. Rat rod, of course, so, you know, everything's brand new on it. So anyway, on today's episode, what we're doing is I did finally get the rear drums on. It did take a little bit of work, as you would have seen in the previous episode. We had a lot of issues trying to get the splines to fit. In the end, what I ended up doing was uh, used a Dremel and I just came in a, a, along the spline and put a bit of uh, bearing blue on there and then marked it, went back over and just kept going. And eventually, uh, with the nylon hammer, I got them to tap on. A couple of times they did get stuck and then, of course, to get them back off, I used the new hydraulic press uh, puller, which we got. little hydraulic puller here. Worked fantastic, actually. Uh, well worth 120 bucks or 116 dollars whatever it is it just pulled it off without me even you know breaking a sweat so uh, yeah both the drums are on which is awesome got that done uh, we also have the engine lid on the stay works perfectly as you can see there click click that's all done as well I've put the bumper bar mounts on for the rear bumper bar we still need to go and get a couple more coach bolt what else has been done Oh, let's see. The front bumper bar's done, and that's all bolted on. Again, we've tried to emulate the factory coach bolts there, and you can see that's what it looks like from the front. Pretty cool. And also, I have put a little bit of hardware on. One of the door handles is on, and that works perfect. All good to go. What's going to be next? Uh, oh, the other thing too, we did get a Y, a y piece for under the floor. We actually got two, because we've got another build coming up, a 56. 11 window which will be a full restoration as a shiny bus not a patina one so the non patina fans out there will definitely like that one because that one's going to be a full build uh, back to uh, you know um, shininess uh, the rear bumper bar I've had it out here festering away trying to get a little bit of a little bit of oxidization a little bit of rust on it just to make it try and look a bit old you can see there it's starting to work I've just been putting a little bit of water on it, leaving it out overnight, and that's been doing the job just nicely, fixing that up, because it's got to kind of marry in with this front one, I suppose. And yeah, we've got, Josh is coming down soon. We're gonna get some, get the new wheels on it. Uh, once I get the Y piece that's in the mail, I can get that welded in. Then we can paint the inside uh, back cabin in the primer gray that it's supposed to be in. And then we can start on the cabin, installing bits and pieces, you can see here, I've been working on the windows. We've got the quarter, quarter window in installed. We're just waiting for a few components to finish off this window. And then we've got to get on to the second one. This was the factory sun visor, which was completely seized. And I did actually manage to get this all moving, which uh, and it actually does go up and down as well, which I'm pretty stoked about. So we can reuse him. We've got the original shift rod so yeah all all in all we've got a few more bits and pieces we've got to do but it's getting close hopefully motor will be done soon that's pretty much the update for now so let's get cracking for today's efforts and we're going to do a few little bits and pieces let's get into it a few moments later well well fellas <laughs> look what's in the house we finally got our y pipe she's a little bit <laughs> she's a little bit uh yeah, you know, that's all right. We'll fix her up, get it sandblasted, repair up all the little uh, cuts and stuff. I mean, it's obviously been chopped out of a bus, but, you know, it's it's not bad condition at all. We'll chuck that in a sandblaster, give it a good clean, and then we can rust convert it and uh, paint it blue, 
and get it welded into the bus. That's one of the last, that's pretty much is the last fabrication piece we've got to do. So that's a good thing. Awesome. All right, let's get it in the blaster and get cracking on it. So here's the second Y piece. We got two of them. Pretty amazing. We actually do need two because we've got another build coming up that hasn't got the Y piece either. So this one's the one in uh, better condition. So let's uh, pop this in the sandblaster. We'll give it a, a clean up. Then we can treat it for rust. Uh, we've got those uh, heater diffuser kind of, I don't even know what these things are. I know they've got some material inside them, probably just to keep the, the fumes from running through. Uh, but we'll give those a give those a clean up as well. We can give them a paint. Yeah, go from there, but stoked that we've got this part. Okay, fresh out of the sandblaster. We'll just give these, uh, that actually came up reasonably good. So we'll put a bit of kill rust on that, uh, rust converter. And then we can give them a spray of red oxide and then uh, paint them blue and get them retrofitted into the bus. We've probably just got to repair a little bit of this area here where that cut is. I'll just go and get the grinder on this and just clean it up and then we'll just plug up all these little holes with the welder. Now a couple of people are also asking about the new wheels. Uh, they, they're the classic radars from the States. Yeah, what a mission it was to get those into the country. It took almost oh, pretty much 12 months to, from ordering them to getting them uh, imported in and uh, yeah they look they look pretty cool we've got some fairly large rubber large rubber on the rear anyway all right let's get these guys cleaned up a little bit further and uh, get them uh, ready for painting okay so we've got the yp all kind of cleaned up it's got all the daggy bits off it and now we just need to plug up all these holes here to make it a little bit more presentable get a welder up Let's uh, give that a grind back. Right, hey, that one is done. We'll just get this a coat of Kill Rust Rainix Buster. All right, let's paint a bit of that on there and call it good. Okay, so a bit of a trial fit of the rear bumper bar. Unfortunately, my custom made little coach bolt uh, aren't long enough. <laughs> so I've got to go back and get some longer ones. So they're just ones I've put in just to temporary get it mounted. But you can see, you know, we've got the paint pretty much how I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look new and that's kind of what we want. A little bit of aging and it uh, goes with the engine lid nicely. So that one's done. Our next job, which is going to be a fun, is the wiring loom. We've got a brand new wiring loom here from uh, Wolfberg West. So we're going to get that installed now and It'll be interesting to see how we can get this threaded through. Let's give it a crack. Okay, so I've got the wiring loom just on the ground. And what we're going to do is we've got probably parts for getting tangled at the front. So we're going to thread it from the rear of the vehicle through to the front. I think that might be the easiest way to do it. So basically we're going to tape up all this just so it's one solid uh, piece. And then we will put a little piece of wire through or some string and then uh, attach it to it and then pull it through and uh, hopefully everything goes to plan. Let's uh, give it a crack. Okay, so you can see what I've done. I've just pretty much turned it into one wire and we can just feed this through and hopefully she will slide through uh, without any problems. There is a few areas under the bus that are kind of torturous, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, let's get this set up. I'll get some light for you. And uh, let's see how we go getting it in. Okay, so the first place we've got to get it through, you can see there's a, a little tab there that's going to hold part of the wiring loom, uh, a tab here. And then it's going to run up through a little hole there, go up through the back around to the other lights for the brake lights and turn signals. But the main loom is going to run through this little hole up through there. So we can pretty much just start threading it from here. We've got to go through the chassis rail and that's going to basically come out through this point just in here, through that little hole there, and then it'll run down the chassis rail to the front. So really we've got this section here to get it through and it shouldn't be too hard, but uh, let's see, because it's got to go around underneath this guy. This is the problematic area and let's see how problematic it becomes. All right, let's feed, it, feed her through. I wonder if I can do this without... Yeah, no. 
I don't think so. I think there's going to be quite a lot of junk in there. So we're going to have to do the wire trick, feed some wire through, tape it onto this and then pull it through. I think that's going to be our only way. So let's go and grab some appropriate wire and uh, go from there. Okay, guys, so success with the uh, back section here. So we've got, got the uh, wiring loom through our little hole. And of course, now we've got to take it through. Uh, I've still got the wire attached, you can see here. I just put a bit of fencing wire on it. So now we can take it to the front and thread the remainder through the top chassis rail. And I think that one from memory is the harder one. What we've got to do here is it's going to go through all those clips. It's got to come through this hole here. And then it's got to run all the way through and out through the front here through that little section just inside there so yeah we're gonna have some fun getting it through that let's have a go and see how we go well look at that guys first go and <laughs> i nailed it i couldn't believe it it just went straight through where it needed to go and popped out totally stoked so that's the hard bit done now the rest of it is just unraveling all this mess and taking it up through through the hole there up into the cab that little hole just there and yeah we're good to go all right happy days let's continue okay guys well unfortunately we've discovered a problem uh with the spindles now we've got plain the link pins so we're going to have to pull them apart and put some new brass bushes in here you can see i'll see if i can replicate it on camera for you uh, probably not because i've taken the wheel off but yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of slop in this. I thought they were good, but we put the wheel on and gave it a good old um, hard shake, and you could see this thing just going look 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 like that. It was actually almost making that noise too. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to pull them apart and put a new a new kit through them because they will not pass roadworthy, and also it will drive like a bag of wet potatoes. Uh, yeah, so let's start pulling it all down and uh, we'll pull them apart and see if it's just the brass bushes or if there's other bits and pieces that need to be changed as well let's uh, see how we go here So, one spindle off. Now we just want to make sure we keep all our bits and pieces together in the right orientation. Let's put you in the vise for a minute while we sort some stuff out. Right. So we want to make sure we keep all this together. Yep. Damn. Ah, uh, have a look at this, guys. So that's what's happened to when the needle bearing 
has not been lubricated properly and you can see all the rust all over it it's terrible um, and it's gone it's really gone and clapped out this pin now you can see it's got score marks it's not flat at all so that's unfortunately junk so we'll have to get another another bottom pin yeah not looking good and of course the next thing now is going to be we're going to have to take off we're going to have to press this apart because the yeah i think the pins inside are no good either all right let's continue the tear down Now we've got to press these suckers apart. We've taken out the little bolt here, which holds the whole pack together. So now we can go and get the press and press this apart. It's like it's going to be, they're going to be a full rebuild. Right, pressy pressy time. Okay, so just return from the press and we've pressed apart, obviously, all the, the parts. For, for you guys that haven't seen a spindle be being pressed apart, I'll, I'll stick a link in the description when I did it. It was one of my very first videos, so it's letterbox, telephone, uh, phone. Yeah, it's not very good quality. I probably should do another one. But you can see here, it's got quite a bit of slop in that top bearing there, old bush. Uh, that one sits in there like so. That wasn't actually too bad. Little bit of play. But um, yeah, I've basically ordered new brass bushes and of course the needle bearings you can see here and you can also see that is completely gone. So we'll have to replace all that as well. Good thing that we picked it up now and not later on. So I'll press out these uh, brass bushes and or I've ordered a new set so they'll have to come. And then of course we use our reamer, which is these guys here. I've got two of them. Uh, that's our reamers and you yeah, basically put that through like that and ream it out to the right size so all right well we'll have to kind of move on to something else now that we're going to have to wait to get these things fixed up but i will press them i'm going to sandblast these actually get them all nice and clean then we can kbs them and they'll look they'll look brand spanking all right let's get done okay guys so we've got some parts painted in the blue got all these all these pieces here and also we have the Y piece in blue as well, right here. So that's all ready to rock and roll. Now, obviously this piece is probably meant to go in before you put the floor in. <laughs> so actually getting it in there is going to be quite difficult. So my plan is, and you know what plan happens to plans, don't you? Um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to separate these pieces and we'll do that right now because they're just I've actually D um, they're not welded anymore I've cut them off so I can just separate them so the idea is pop these apart and this piece here we can get that mounted in all right so this piece is going to go in here like so just have to make sure I can get it in there thousand years later if you only knew the torture <laughs> that that took to put in because you would imagine that the Y piece would be in there before you put the floor on and obviously we've welded the floor on so there was absolutely no room to get those pieces in so yeah that was uh that was the challenge you can see there I just had to do a little bit of a relief cut at the top in order to get the pipe in now I'll just have to come back around and shut it all up again and you know i've tacked it i've tacked it all the way around and we'll just go and put some run some sticker flex around it and then uh paint it blue and we're all good but at least it's in and there yeah that was uh that was a good one all right let's uh get inside the cab or inside the the back section and we'll uh just tack weld the top part to the floor and then we can start running the sicker flex around it and then give it a paint and we'll be all good right hey guys so here you can see we've got our y pipe all fixed in and painted in the blue looking flash and that's the last little piece of fabrication we've got to get done which we're stoked on so now we can move on to inside the cab we've got to get that all prepared for the primer and 
We've got our spindle sandblasted as well. We're, we're waiting on the uh, the brass bushes to reinsert those. We've got all our bits and pieces in here. All I went and found some new needle bearings and a couple of uh, other little pins that are in better condition than the original ones. So they're all ready to go. Hopefully next week we'll get those done. Yeah, that's about it for today's effort. I think I'm going to go inside and get some dinner. It's getting late, getting cold. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks for the new subscribers too. You.